Today I'm going to talk to you about wedges and how the bounce of the club can help you. Uh, the first one we'll talk about is the F grind. If you look at the graphics behind me, this is the Titleist SM8 range of wedges with various different grinds. The F grind I'll talk to you about first. I can show you the width of the sole on that one is effectively a full grind. This would be the same as your eight iron, your six iron. It's the full grind. This is normally used for the lower lofted wedges. This is a 50 and it, technically this is going to be used for full shots only. So we've got a full grind. We don't need the grind to do anything special like we would out of a bunker or opening the face up. So that's the, the first grind that we need to know about. The second grind, which is the M grind up here. Um, let me show you the club to start with. You'll see that the trailing edge, the back of the club, and the toe and the heel have actually had part of it taken away. Uh, that is the grind that effectively, if you're opening the face up and you're manoeuvring the club face about, then that will help you to slide the club underneath without the club bouncing too much or digging in. It's, it depends on your style of play. The M grind, the L grind, and the D grind all have that same pattern with that C. It's just that they're different bounces. This is eight degrees of bounce, this is four degrees of bounce, and this is 12 degrees of bounce. So the L grind would suit the player that had a very shallow angle of attack and is very precise in how they approach their wedge play ball then ground contact exactly the same every time and if they play in very firm conditions. The D grind is the 12 degrees of bounce is more suited to the player um, that has a steeper angle of attack and perhaps might play some courses that has maybe softer ground conditions or lots of sand in the bunkers. So we have seen more of these um, being used by players at Chelmsford, um, especially with the, the new bunkers that we have. There's the S grind, which is up here. Now that just has a grind that the whole back of the trailing edge has been taken away. So for the player that doesn't manoeuvre the face very much, but actually takes loft off or adds loft on, then that um, trailing edge really helps to get that club to slide through underneath the golf ball without bouncing too much. So it depends on your style of play. Now the K grind for tight list, I don't have um, I don't have an example of this one, but if I show you this wedge here, which is a Callaway CB, this is very similar. It's got a very wide sole on it. Uh, this has got 12 degrees of bounce on it. The K, I believe, has 14 degrees of bounce on it, so a little bit more. Um, the wide sole in a bunker is absolutely perfect. So in soft sand conditions with a wide sole, it stops the club from digging in. So depending on how you play your golf would depend on which wedges you would select. And you may select um, different wedges and different bounces uh, depending on whether you have two or three wedges. So you might want to give yourself an option of two different bounces for two different styles of shots or course conditions. If you would like to find out what would suit you best, or if the clubs that you have are helping you the most, then just click on the button uh, below and contact me and we'll get you booked in.